You've clicked this video because you want to find out the best top five skill moves to use in FIFA 23 when attacking your opponent. And joining me today to show us is the skill master himself, FootWiz Pro Player, FootWiz Next Dev. How are we doing today, brother? I'm all good. How are you? I'm, I'm good, mate. You know what? I'm looking forward to learning these skill moves because we've got some pretty good skill moves on the cards ready to show and jake is going to show us exactly how to do it tell you what button combinations to use he's going to show us in the practice arena no better place to practice your skill moves and learn to master your craft now starting off which one are you going to be showing us jacob the elastico um, right yeah we can start off with the elastico i'm actually really happy that the practice arena can showcase these skills really because previous years we've been from behind the player so we can see in the gameplay like the same like camera you'd be on in a game where we can showcase these skills brilliant stuff and um first of all how, how do we do the elastico for those who don't know okay so you start from where you're facing and you go clockwise to like the opposite where you started um so like this cool this, brilliant is, stuff. this, this skill is really really good just because how quick it is like um it's normally better on like a dead stop so once the ball stopped like you stand with your defender and you just do it like that quickly so you can try and get a shot off it's really good that way um it's all right when you're running but like it's a bit less clean. It's better when it's like dead stop. So as you say, when you go into the area, you've got a defender there. You literally just stop, and then you use that elastico to kind of draw him in and go past him and get a shot away. Yeah. So I run into the box and I'll just literally just stand out the defender, for example, like this, and I'll just do that, and then I'll try and get a shot away. So it just creates that little space, and obviously you go on to score the shots and not hit the post, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, now look, that's the normal elastico. Now there is another skill move which is technically the same, but different, called the Reverse Elastico. Now, yeah. talk to me why the Reverse Elastico is so important and just as effective as the normal Elastico. Okay, so yeah, I actually prefer the Reverse Elastico to the Elastico. I just feel like it's a bit more quicker and um, most of the time you can get on a stronger player's foot off, off the Reverse Elastico. Um, so it's the same as the Elastico, but just anti-clockwise. And it's the same again, really. Like it's better in a dead stop. Like we can do it like really quick. Um, mm -hmm. These the elastico and the reverse elastico are probably the two best skill moves in the game to do in the box, just because of how quick they are. So that's the elastico and that's the reverse. But the reverse is actually good for going past the keeper, for example, like that. So you can use it in a lot of scenarios if you're beating a man, if you're going past the keeper. Um, it's very good. You can do it running as well. It's, it's very very good skill move. Mm. And would you say with these? With these skill moves, would you say it's most effective when you're running or like when you're walking or like when you're literally stood still? Because obviously we mentioned before how the Elastico is probably most effective when you're actually stood still, like standing up a defender. With the Reverse Elastico, what about that? Um, the Reverse Elastico is actually very good at everything, to be honest. So, yeah. for example, if I'm running on goal here, I could do a Reverse Elastico and it sets me up for a shot pretty well because I don't have to do anything after Elastico, I can just shoot. Um, but... For getting past the defender, I think it is just better stand, like standing up a defender like, on the spot and doing it quick. Yeah, I take it because obviously with this game as well, where the, the movement has been limited compared to previous FIFAs as well. Yeah. Like, it probably benefits you using an elastico to get it onto your stronger foot. Like, say, for example, use the reverse elastico. It might be favouring your left foot and then you move it onto your right foot and then you can switch it across goal, can't you? Yeah, for, for sure. You, you're exactly right. Um, turning on this game, as you said, is pretty slow. So if I wanted to turn that way, it's just a bit slower. Like, like, if I do Elastico, like, it's quick. I can it's get all like in much one quicker. movement, you can fizz it off, and like, it's nice and easy. And it sends your defender as well. Yeah. Um, now, for the third one, this is actually quite a simple one, but really, really effective for a number of reasons. If you want to change the pace, if you want to change direction and stuff like that. And it's the ball roll scoop. Now, explain to us how to do a ball roll and then incorporate the scoop into it. Um, so yeah, so this has been a very, very effective skill move for many years. And I think it come in a few 21. Um, mm -hmm. And it's been meta since, to be honest. Um, that, that just shows you how good the skill move is. It can be used a lot of times. I like to use it on the wing, so for example like that, and then I can find a pass off that. Um, you can also just do it just like this, like, and then try and get a shot off on his, on his stronger foot while you start on his left foot. Um, you can do it both ways, so you just ball roll down, just a normal ball roll, and then you just scoop the opposite side in one motion. You can do it this way. How would you, you scoop? This way. Um, scoop, you do a fake shot, and then like you roll like your stick or like, where you want to go, really. Cool, brilliant. So essentially just a ball roll scoop, you do your ball roll and then you just scoop with it at the same time in the direction yeah. which you want to go. And obviously you mentioned about when you're going down the line, you'll sometimes do a ball roll scoop to send the defender so it opens up that extra pass inside the area for like the tap in, etc. Um, now, with the ball roll scoop, can you take use it to go around the keeper? Or would you probably say the, the previous skills um, you showed us are probably beneficial ways to use it? 
Um, it's hard to get around the keeper, to be honest. I don't think you'd want to be using it to, like ineffective. Like, for example, if you're going on goal, I know I need to borrow the keeper. It, yeah. can, it can work, but it won't work every single time. So, um, as I said, in some scenarios, like the ball roll this year, getting past the keeper is not very good. So maybe the ball roll scoop is a little bit better. But yeah. again, I think the elastico that I showed you a couple of seconds ago is a bit more effective for getting past the keeper than uh, a ball roll scoop. Yeah, so would you say the ball roll scoop is something a lot of the time you'd use in wide areas as well as that, like just to create that space? Yeah, uh, there'll be... There'll be more chances of you getting a chance out of a ball roll scoop than a shot out of a ball roll scoop. So cool. I could I could do anything and set up a pass, um, a ball roll scoop pass. Like that will be the most chances you'll get out of the skill move. Brilliant stuff. And moving on to our next one. This is where it gets a little bit spicy. This is for uh, players who probably think they're the real deal as well. So you're going to be seeing a lot of this in foot chance when you match up against that sweaty player. Usually a player is like Nick Sneb and it is the L1 hill to hill. I think they named it the Phantom Glide, but that's not the official name for it. But um, towards us for it, obviously it's a hill to hill, but you're incorporating L1 into it as well, aren't you? So, um, so yeah, this skill move is unbelievable. To be honest, it's my favourite skill move this year. They added it this year. Um, let's say hill to hill, which is up down, and then you just hold LB in it. This this skill move is very good for going past the keeper, but it's also very very good for getting past defenders. Just casually gliding the ball forwards, like it is. It's a very very good skill move. As I said it's my favourite skill move. That's absolutely unreal. So it's L1 and hill to hill at the same time, right? Yeah. Cool, brilliant. And when you say hill to hill, do you move your stick forward, then back? Or is it back, then forward? Or Yeah, so the way, you, so the way you're facing, um, and then you go like up and like, your way you're facing, and then backwards. Cool, so the way you're facing and backwards. Because a lot of people watching this probably do what I do. You, you try and do it, and then you, you rainbow flick the ball over your head. Um, it's probably because we're a little bit more newbie than these pro players. But that is the way you do it. The way you're facing, then backwards whilst holding L1, and that will perform that skill move, which Jacob's shown you. Um, you could Not that one. He's just done something different there. But um, you can use that in any area around the pitch, can't you, to be honest? Like, whether you're in attack, in transition, in the area, and uh, what skill moves could do it as well? What skill move players? Um, I'm pretty sure it's four-star skill moves. Four -star. So a lot of attackers will have four-star skill moves. Um, the Phantom Glide, what I like about it the most is that you can add, like, combos into it after, because it just sets you up nicely. Like, after you've done the Phantom Glide, it will just... The ball will just be in front of you, nice, like, nice and controlled. So like, I like to do it with a step over, which is very, very OP. I think this year, probably like yeah. the the best way to get past the defender. I think a phantom glide into a step over, very, very good. Cool, brilliant. And just whilst we're here, just a quick one: How do you do a step over for those who don't know? Because obviously people are hearing you say that, but it's not on our skill moves to learn. Okay, so this is a bit hard to um, like word, but your right stick will be in front of the player, and you'll just like move like up and down from where like your your player's facing so the right stick so i'm pushing it right now because that's the way i'm facing and i'm just going up and down on the right side of the right stick okay so you're just kind of like wiggling it up and down a little bit whilst holding it on the right hand side yeah yeah okay cool that's brilliant to know and last but not least we have the mcgeady cancel now if you've mastered all these other skill moves this is probably one of the most important skill moves which will separate you from nearly 99% of the player base. Because I can guarantee you 99% of players watching this will not know how to do this skill move because it's a skill move which you see at the top, top level, but not all pros do it. Yeah. Now, Jacob, take us through it. I know it's going to be hard to explain because it is a hard skill move to master, but in yeah. the best way possible, explain to me how you do it. So this is probably the most advanced skill move um, today. Um, th again, this has been a skill move and OP for, since FIFA 21, but this year I feel like it's the best because for example, what we went through earlier, it's really hard to turn this year. Like turn is really slow. So what we do with the Megidi cancel is the way you're facing again, and then you want to go opposite way, but you want to hold L2 and R2, uh, L2 and R2 whilst you're doing it um, to cancel the Megidi. So you can turn like quick like that in a full 180. So that's the best way to turn this year, and it is the Megidi cancel. And I really, really think it's good this year. Brilliant stuff. And that pretty much wraps up the skill move tutorial. If you want to see it live in action, you want to follow Jacob and you want to follow himself and watch him do it live, uh, where can they find you, Nick Snub? Um, Twitch.tv, footwiz underscore Nick Snub. Brilliant stuff. And also, if you want to follow him on Twitter, you can go over there. I'll leave his links and stuff in the description below and you'll be able to see that yourselves. But if these skills were helpful to you, put them to the test. Let us know in the comments and we'll see you on the next one.